sucks. Wow. I hate Resident Evil. Zombies If suck. I didn't know you were joking, I would be offended. Uh, I am joking. I'm, I'm joking, but at the same time, I didn't play the first Revel Revelations. Yeah, and which I'm on, not too fond of. And it's, ooh, okay. Yeah. Well, and it's on 360 and PS3. Yeah, it was originally on 3DS. 3DS. And then yeah. they upgraded it to the last-gen consoles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and now Revelations 2, recently announced on Vita. Yeah. Uh, so it's coming to Vita. Also coming to 3DS? Or just Vita? And, no 3DS. And PS4 and Xbox One? What's yeah. It? Okay. PS4, Xbox One. So now this is next gen. Yeah. What didn't you like about the first one? Let's, let's get into that first. Uh, the first one just was really repetitive to me. Uh, all of the enemies were just big gray blobs that were really generic, just not fun to fight against. They would come out and I would just be bored. Uh, and the story was the story was, wasn't compelling at all. There were not sufficient revelations. Yeah, to me there were there were no revelations <laughs> in revelations. Um, so have they solved that? What did you, what did you get to play today? Well, yeah, now already there there's an intrigue. I, I want to know more because there were a couple lines I noticed right out of the gate. Um, Claire, so so Claire is back in it. It takes place between Resident Evil Five and Six. Okay. And it's Claire Redfield and Moira Burton, the daughter of my favorite Barry Burton. Uh, so you you wake up, you're captured, you're on this island, and it's it's kind of like Saw and Battle Royale mixed. Okay. So you have to you have to survive on this on this. Just, for, for lore's sake, so Moira was the one who got kidnapped and already won, right? No. It was like they kidnapped my kids. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. Moira yeah. was in some van tied yeah. up somewhere. Totally. <laughs> so you pick up a gun and Claire says, uh, uh, Moira's like, oh, are, are we gonna need that? And she's like, it's more reliable than any person. So I'm wondering what that oh, okay. is implying if Claire has been like jaded by her former partners. I don't know, because the last time we saw her was Code Veronica and Chris came to save her at the end of that, and you know Steve Burnside ended up. Was she in RE6? She was not in six. Didn't know the cameo or mention yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. Okay, because I didn't finish RE6. Because yeah. I didn't like RE6. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. worst one. So I need to. I clearly need to catch up on my Resident Evil. Uh, what you played on? I uh, played PS4. So it was just about a 15-minute demo. Uh, a little slow-paced in the beginning, which I really like. They're, they're getting that survival horror tone and pace down. Uh, it, I'm surprised by how well it runs. I definitely want to say that. It runs really smooth. Everything is really sharp. Um, got the shotgun. Only got to kill one person with it, though. They give you it, you kill a person, and then the demo ends. So I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> so I wanted to use that more. And then uh, you can switch characters on the fly. It is going to be co-op. Moira seems, a, like, less useful. She has a flashlight. She can kind of bash enemies. And uh, she can discover items in the environment if you see it. Uh, oh, okay. Glimmer if you shine the light on it, then Claire can pick it up. Oh, okay. So there's that. Then oh, Claire can see it and pick it up. Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. she can't. It's just so like, you could see it. could be standing in front of it. Like and I don't. It, know, it, I don't it'll see it'll be glimmering, and you won't you won't be able to pick it up unless you shine the light on it, which is kind of weird. But okay. we have to have co-op restrictions. Yeah. Um. When is this game happening? So episode one is in February. Oh, that's right. There's, it's episodic. So it's episodic. There's going to be four, and the first one's in February. The last one's in March. So it's. So you be, played a part of a part. Oh, of part of a population. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then you have the bracelets on you. There, there's this creepy jigsaw saw guy haunting you. They kept saying, who are you? Who are you? Uh, you wear these bracelets, and it changes color depending on how scared you are. So it's pretty funny. Claire's was bright green, not scared at all, and Moira's was like orangish reddish. So that was pretty clever. Um, are you stoked to be playing Claire again? Do you think that's like a smart? I do you think they just Claire. juggled the characters yeah. where it's like you know we can't always focus on all of them at the same yeah. time? I am most excited to play as Barry Burton because he has been gone since the ending of Resident Evil Three, where he makes a brief cameo. Right. Uh, I, I could not be more excited to play. Is this as Barry confirmed? Burton. This is know? confirmed. You play as him. He's going to rescue his daughter. Uh, I just hope they do it justice. You know, this is this is a big deal being able to play as Barry. They better they better live up to it. What do you what 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 is it about Barry Burton? I mean, other than like his lore significance, is there any any gameplay? He's just stuff uh, he like, just has that old veteran grizzled. I've seen it all. Wise vibe to him, and, and Jill looked up to him. He was always trying to protect her. You respect Barry. I respect him. If if it would, if the zombie apocalypse hit right now, PlayStation experience, people are yeah. running around like crazy, you know, brains being eaten all around us. Is Barry your go-to? Uh, Barry your is the go-to. Absolutely. Like, save me, Barry. Hundred percent. 
Barry would get us out of the jam. Anything, uh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna try to like reel back the hype level just a little yeah. bit. Any concerns, anything weird? Or, you were talking about the flashlight being weird. I am, I am concerned because, you know, I wasn't too fond of, of Revelations 1, so I'm very cautiously optimistic about it. Uh, it is in a weird place in between five and six lore-wise, so I don't know how that's gonna factor in. Uh, I think six really messed up the Resident Evil canon. I thought with a little bit of tweaks, Five could have been a great finale. It could have been the yeah. one to end it. But I, I mean, they, if they had if they had done if they had done things a little differently, if you had maybe Leon show up in five and everyone kind of showed yeah. up, it could have been this awesome send off. And now they're in this weird place where six is just rewriting the the book that has been written for you know since 1996. So it, it's do they reboot now? Do yeah. they keep making all these games before six? Timeline-wise, that's right. what I feel like they're doing now. What well, do you feel like? That they're, I mean, this isn't Resident Evil, you know, Champions, or whatever. I don't know. Like Resident Evil, some other weird adjective. Like it's Revelations Two. Yeah. So is this a new franchise? Is yeah, I think if like... this does well, they'll definitely keep making Revelations. You could do a lot of cool things with it too. I mean, we never got to see Resident Evil Alpha Squad or Resident Evil Bravo Squad. Like the early have like two timelines going on. You could play Stars like early style when everyone first meets up. So that would really be a really cool origin story. Gosh darn it, I want to go play this. Yeah. Uh, and it's cool, it looks good, it looks like it's, it's worthy it of looks, a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Yeah, it runs really well. Yeah. So smooth, so good. Oh my god, you, oh my god. We unfortunately have to stop talking about this new PlayStation. <laughs> but thanks, man, I'm stoked. For you were sure. funny, like we were like talking about what we were gonna play, and you're just like, guys, I gotta go, I gotta go play the game right I gotta now. Play what, this. Was, what was the urgency? Just before the lines got long? Or well, like, well, Bloodworth said, yo, your job is to play Resident Evil Revelations 2 and do a just play. It. So blood was on it. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Claire, I just want to go home. So much suffering. You don't even know what to be afraid of yet.